We'd now like to take a moment to recognise some of our more recent alumni with the awarding of our Young Alumni Achievers. This is only our second group to be recognised as Young Alumni Achievers, as Peter mentioned earlier, with the first group receiving their awards in 2019. These awards will be presented a little bit differently to the inspiring alumni and when we read out um, the recipients of each award, after uh, we finish reading out uh, the information about them, we invite them to come to the stage and remain on the stage until we have all of our young alumni uh, here and then our final um, recipient will respond on behalf of all of them. So we begin with Coast Aid organisers Gary Roberts and Tom O'Connor from the class of 2012. Amid the bushfire crisis of 2020, Gary and Tom organised and staged a huge community music event that raised over $16,500 for bushfire relief. While the boys had never organised anything of this scale before, they quickly learned that asking questions leads to answers and support, and momentum was rapidly built. Within 19 days, the boys had all the permits, the musicians, the sponsors and food vans they needed, attracting a tremendous response from the community of Warrnambool. The event was recognised on Australia Day by the Warrnambool City Council in 2021 for Community Event of the Year. Please welcome and congratulate Gary Roberts and Tom O'Connor. Our next um, couple of recipients are unfortunately apologies uh, this evening, but nonetheless, we recognise them. From the class of 20, uh, 2004, we congratulate Melita Crimin. Melita is the senior prosthesis and orthotist. I knew I would make mistakes on this bit. There is a mouthful of terms in here that I've been practising all week and I already messed it up on the very first one. Melita is the senior prosthesis and orth orthotist at the Royal Children's Hospital, Melbourne. She has a degree in biomedical science from Melbourne University and a master's in prosthetics and orthotics from La Trobe University. She is currently undertaking a master's in health administration. Melita has held various volunteer roles in the profession, including a board member of the International Society of Prosthetics and Orthotics, Australian National Member Society, and the Australian Orthotic and Prosthetic Associations Congress Committee. More recently, Melita's experience has found her on many occasions a guest lecturer and assessor for La Trobe University's prosthetic and orthotic course and working in collaboration with Melbourne Uni on various 3D printing manufacturing projects. Most notably, a project set to improve outcomes for patients with facial burns and the development of myoelectric prosthetic hands for children. Unfortunately, Melita can't be with us tonight. We extend and congratulate her on her achievement. Well done. Another apology this evening is from the class of 2006 and we congratulate Daniel O'Keefe. Daniel's career with the AFL began straight out of school at Emmanuel when he was drafted to the Sydney Swans AFL Football Club. But sadly for Daniel, numerous injuries ultimately forced him to retire completely from playing at the age of 22. However, a new pathway quickly emerged following a brief stint as a PGA professional golf trainee, a career in coaching. This newfound drive saw Daniel take on any opportunity to coach he could find. It led to his first serious coaching position as the senior coach at Geelong West Football Club in the Geelong Football League, then with the under-18 Geelong Falcons. His first year at the Falcons saw the team win the Premiership, impressively breaking a 17-year drought. From the Falcons, Daniel has gone on to become the VFL assistant coach with the Geelong Cats, the development coach with Carlton uh, football Club, and most recently has been appointed as the head coach of the Carlton uh, Reserves or VFL side. As a new team, Daniel's role involved establishing a VFL program from scratch, now compromising a strong playing list of 28 and over 28, uh, 20 staff. Carlton has a great reserves program that is already filtering ready-made players into the AFL. Fortunately, Daniel can't be with us tonight, but we extend our congratulations to him. Well done. Our next recipient is here, and from the class of 2016, we congratulate James Cole. 
James is a videographer whose passion for film has jettisoned into a business now attracting national clients. James has a degree in commerce, majoring in marketing and management from ACU, which has unintentionally supported the transformation of his hobby into a nationally reaching business. James has also worked for Aerial Vision Services where he shot drone footage for big clients such as Racing Victoria, long-running television series Neighbours and Australian Soccer A-League teams in Melbourne. Now working for himself from his home base in Warrnambool, James works for local clients including Southwest TAFE, Emmanuel College and national clients such as Woolworths and Music Victoria. And at the start of this evening's ceremony, the short film that you saw was created by James. James is also an active volunteer on the board of the Warrnambool Surf Lifesaving Club, directing their marketing and communication needs. Please welcome and congratulate James. From the class of 2008, Stephanie Tyberg. Stephanie is a commercial fashion photographer who until recently was based in one of the world's major fashion centres, Paris. Using her experience and connections, Stephanie created a platform to bring up and coming Australian and New Zealand designers into the highly competitive fashion scene in France via a publication called Peachy Keen magazine. Printed in French and English, the magazine aspires to promote the geographically distant designers while promoting strong ethical and sustainability values. Prior to publishing Peachy Keen, Stephanie attained her professional photography diploma through Parisian Photography Institute, SPIOS. From there, she has worked in both Paris and Montreal as a freelance photographer for European and North American design and magazines, including cosmetics giant L'Oreal. Stephanie always returns to Emmanuel College during her trips to Warrnambool and shares her experiences and technical knowledge with our studio arts students. On her last visit in 2019, she gave a masterclass to aspiring senior photography students. Unfortunately, due to Stephanie's travels, uh, she can't be with us tonight. We extend our congratulations to Stephanie. Well done. <laughs> and finally, from the class of 2008, Dylan Lasock. Dylan has built a multi-million dollar business from the ground up with nothing more than a can-do attitude. At the age of 24, Dylan decided to change paths away from the sports mar marketing industry with the goal of being his own boss. Starting with a little research to identify a gap in the market that he could break into with limited funds and experience, Dylan began Clark Clean. It was named after his nan as a homage to her unwavering love and support. Establishing the business with only a website, a vacuum and a mop, he put his hand up for any job he came across, all while still working full time. In some cases, he would be teaching himself how to complete the task via YouTube videos. This dedication saw Clark Clean become self-sustaining within six months. Now one of the biggest in Ballarat, it is contracted to clean council venues and events, independent stadiums and sporting grounds, local businesses and festivals throughout Victoria and continues to expand. In addition to the business, the Leadership Ballarat Western Region Program awarded Dylan a scholarship in 2017. This 12-month community leadership program involved working with local government, including focus group time in Canberra with the then Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull and the opposition leader Bill Shorten. In 2019, Dylan was an ambassador for the Ballarat Foundation's highly successful Dancing With Our Stars fundraiser. This involved 12 weeks of full-time dance, uh, dance training with the initiative collecti collectively raising over $112,000. More recently, Dylan's early passion for the fitness industry has reignited, um, driving him to open his second business, a gym, The Underground. Please welcome and congratulate Dylan. No. And we now invite Dylan to the lectern to make an address on behalf of all of our young alumni achievers. Jeez, thanks. Thanks, guys. Um, out of all the people on stage Candice could have picked, I think she's picked the worst public speaker. So <laughs> I'll keep it quite short. Um, I think if you asked any of my year nine teachers if I'd be up on stage all these years later accepting an award, they would have laughed at you. So I think I've done all right. But um, I thought I'd just tell a little bit of a story about my time at Emmanuel and, and why it was so special to me. So. I moved out of home when I was 14 and I was lucky enough to be taken in by the Barling family and Mick Barling was the year 12 coordinator at the time and uh, Daniel Barling was one of my best mates. So uh, I was not only embraced by the Barling family but I was embraced by the whole Emmanuel community. So 
uh, it really sort of put me on the, tra the trajectory to where I am now. And, um, you know, teachers like Karen Pritchard, who saw me three times a week for counselling in their own time in my lunch break, sort of really made sure I finished school and, and that's sort of why I'm here today. So Emmanuel College is always going to have a very special part in my heart. And it's so cool to see so many young achievers up here and they're far more talented than I am, that's for sure. So, cool. Thanks. <laughs> Well done, Dylan. Thanks very much for those words. I actually did speak to Mick this morning, uh, this morning and he mentioned a little story about when you were in year 12 with a, uh, a soccer ball that got kicked into a, a window at the chapel, um, <laughs> which was an interesting story. Um, so congratulations again to our young alumni achievers. Uh, it's fantastic to see uh, what you've been able to achieve in such a short period of time since you've left Emmanuel College and to those that couldn't be um, with us tonight. Thanks again. <laughs>